Transformers reviews, tech and the news, whatever else I use as a muse. Hit subscribe, I appreciate the views, influences, interest on YouTube. Well, today we'll unbox the Yamo Studio Series S803 HCS. Five, you got two uh, bookshelf, two smaller speakers for your surrounds, and you have a center channel speaker. And I heard good things about Yamo. I mean, for the price, if it plays sound out of it, <laughs> it'll be wonderful. It's out the gate. I don't know what those screws are for. I'm sure to tell me. So let's file that over there. Yeah, you got a grill. I probably won't use the grills, but you get them, so... Be careful when cutting this tape if you're cutting it because definitely could be an issue if you're cutting the speaker. Use as a surround. Yeah, they're super, super nice. Like, I can't believe this price. This one. Yeah, the second uh, smaller speaker. Got some branding on the side. I do like the binding post. Uh, look like they might take banana plugs too, but you can definitely unscrew them and stick the wire in there, then screw them back down. I thought it was feet on uh, all four corners, but. Less one foot fell off. Oh, it looks like it's raised up a little. So they have feet. There's the center channel, which is nice looking. This is a nice looking set. You got feet in the front and just regular pegs in the back. I guess so it's like angled up. They do have a weird shape. Like you see, it's not square, and I like that. I like that look. Of course, you got poured it in the back, and you can have uh, got brackets for hangers. Oh, okay. They have a place. Oh, this is nice. So this is the bigger bookshelf speaker, but it also has a place for a Atmos modular that goes on top, and they had the pins. You just place the modular here. And here's the two connections. So you have the connection for the modular. Once you place it on here, then you have this. And I guess it'll automatically connect. However, I don't know, you know, that you would have to get their modulars. I'm having in ceiling speakers for my Atmos. So but yeah, it's nice and it's front ported. I love that it's front ported, which means you can place it better in better positions. You can have it up against the wall if you your space is small you know a lot of ports are on the back like the other speakers the ports are on the back but they're surround speakers so they'll be out in the open but these you know if you have it a uh, port in the back you would have to place it up against or not you couldn't place it up against the wall i should say yeah so there's the speaker system and it's definitely a great looking system i love the silver with the wood grain on the tweeters and the black like the it's just a it's a nice looking system and like i said if it plays music like i can't believe this price it's hard to believe i've heard good things about them especially especially at the price point but i've heard good things as far as even if the price was was more like they couldn't people couldn't believe it uh, I already have the subwoofer, so we'll see. I'm going to start hooking this up as soon as my speaker wire comes. <laughs> All right, so thank you again for watching. Oh, I forgot to include just the grills. So you, you know you definitely get grills. You get this. It's everything you get with the system. A high-performance powered subwoofer 
eight inch by Yamo. So we're gonna unbox this and take a look at it. See what is happening. What comes in a box. Get some of the books. I don't know what's in here, but get this little package on top. I assume it's the cables, more than likely. And yep. You get the plug because it's a powered subwoofer. And you get the cable to plug your subwoofer into your receiver. So that's great that you have that and don't have to worry about that thing, any of that. And you get, I believe they're, they should be the feet. You get four with 3M. And you have this magnetic, or maybe not magnetic, I don't know. But it has these these pins that go in. It's like real soft. Then you have the the actual subwoofer, which is eight inch. Is it ported? I don't know if it's ported. Let me see. I'm not sure. Here's the port right here, which is cool. I like under ported subs. And then you have the controls here. Now this is a kind of strange design. Uh, I'm wondering, I guess when you put the feet on there, it's got the little wood too. I like that. It's really nice. I do have the Yamo speakers coming that have the wood also that are black. But yeah, this is a nice on off. Got frequency response and volume. Like I said, it is underneath, which is weird. I mean, it makes for a cleaner uh, setup, but you got to turn the speaker on the side in order to get to all of this and also i guess with the feet on it it will raise up a little bit so the cords won't be underneath it but they would be underneath it if you didn't want the feet on it or unless you lay it on your on its side but i'm gonna have it up you can control you got volume frequency response phase and on or off i guess if you don't want it turned on and you got the line in of course so i guess if you don't want it on you can turn it off but it has on auto because it it goes off with your system so if you don't want it on standby it's probably be on standby so uh so you're watching something that you don't want a lot of bass maybe if your speakers your other speakers put out bass you can turn this off if it's too much all right so it's influence thanks for watching Life ain't no, life ain't no, life ain't no, life ain't no As long as you alive, you can give another try And take it real high if you want